In the last video, we downloaded the custom um, skin, the custom style, and the custom JavaScript files that we're going to be using in this uh, semi-small project that we're working on. At this stage, I just want to integrate it into our project. To do that, I'm going to go right into our source code of our file and just add a new JS folder and a new CSS folder. Into the JS folder, I want to drop inside the, our custom, and let me just throw this into the screen for a second. I want to add our custom JS file. We want to take the minified file because we're really not going to go inside of it and edit it. We're, we're really just using the components. If we were working on, on building up components and creating some of our own, we probably would want to use with the custom file, which isn't minified before we're in production. But because we're never going to go into these files and actually modify them, we could go ahead and be ready for production already. So I'm going to grab the JS file and put it into the JS folder. And I'm going to grab the CSS file and place it into the CSS folder. So let's start with the CSS, and I'm gonna jump, grab it right inside, and same for our JavaScript file, I'm gonna paste it right inside, and here we go. So we first of all, let's start with our CSS file, which is inside of the CSS folder. I'm gonna go into our HTML file, and really all I have to do is I'm gonna delete everything in our CSS right now, and I'm gonna to point to our folder and our CSS file. I could save that, but let's, before we're done, let's move back into our, our finder, and let's do the same for our JavaScript file, because just by doing this, we're going to literally cut down 200 kilobytes from our file. So again, the, for the jQuery file itself, we're leaving it on the server. We haven't customized it. For the jQuery, so many words. But for the jQuery one, we for the jQuery UI, ugh, they should have a shorter, more fun name to pronounce, but they don't. Never mind. So let's continue. So for the JS file itself, well, we, for the UI that we converted, we want to upload it. We've done the two files. We made sure that we've done it. All that's left for us is to go into the file itself, click on refresh and make sure that everything is still working and everything is still working. And that's all we had to do to update it locally. And that's literally how you would build your file structure from start to end. When you're pu pushing it and pushing up a new project up live, you figure out exactly the components that you're using with. You could start with using the live links that are on their server like that. You could test the issues of loading time and things of that nature. Once you figured out what it is, you download the custom files that you want, plug it in, and upload it onto the web. Now our last video in this section is going to be all about CSS. We're going to have a little bit of an explore of how are the styles built out of. We're not going to get, dig too deep into it, so you're not going to learn how to become a style editor yourself, but if you have enough familiarity with CSS, our next video alone will be enough to get you started with playing around and understanding how the CSS structure works.